What does it mean to reach immortality? Honor. Strength. Tenacity. Or to stand in front of the millions on the grandest stage of them all. For 10 years, GCW has showcased moments in history that are simply timeless. Wars. Betrayals. Farewells. With every year setting the bar even higher. A decade of defining greatness has paved the way for the future to shine ever more. But even so, the past will still haunt those who the it. Oh my god! Oh my So the one-winged angel came down from the heavens above with his gilded rising hand and warned all who challenge him. None shall survive this impending storm to which a lone advocate offered no. My clients, Brock Lesnar, is the storm! Brock Lesnar won't be in the presence of the wrestling god because instead, he'll be trapped with the devil! Will the future be able to shine with the black clouds of uncertainty looming so closely above? I hear. I know what they want. And what they want is to see one of you rise to the top while the other two sink to the bottom. At WrestleMania, either walk away with a guaranteed GCW championship match, or GCW can kiss my ass goodbye. There's no telling what it may be, but the fact is, the future is now. You and I are not the same. You hear me? You took the easy way out, Ibushi, while I had to scratch and claw my way to the heavyweight division. I outclassed, outperformed, and outlasted 29 of GCW's best just to get the chance to go one on one with you at the grandest stage of them all. Compared to that, you're just a fake champ. Three thousand six hundred and fifty-two days have led to this one moment. Just one chance to make history. Friendships will be put to the test. Legacies will be on the line, and champions will be made. Can you please find it in your heart to forgive me? Stand strong, fight for what you believe in, and bear witness to what it truly means to be immortal. to be here with you again and you look like you dressed up to the occasion this time oh uh, yeah i see that you notice you know your boy danny got the trip tonight and what better night to happen there's an explanation for that but right now uh, there's an explanation up to what the first match of the night will be the head of the table roman reigns defends his extreme championship against his former shield brother the messiah seth freaking rollins Indeed, what an interesting matchup it will be between these two factions. Bro, 
Roman Reigns has been having a monumental title reign as the flag bearer for GCW Extreme, but that all fell right on its head. At the Royal Rumble, once Seth Rollins eliminated him, he staked his claim for that championship, made his presence known in that cage of death after Roman Reigns literally fought for his life. But now, it's a whole different ball game because he can lose that championship and not even be involved with the finish. As per Stone Cold Steve Austin's decision on the mat. Yeah, that's a very interesting point here. Roman Reigns does not have to be pinned or submitted to lose the title tonight. Very, very interesting here. The anticipation is running wild here in this sold-out arena. This has been the most people I've seen in an arena that I've been a part of. But now, we await the arrival of the hardcore messiah himself, Seth Rollins. He's had an upward and downward spiral all throughout the year. And he wants to change his luck here tonight against Roman Reigns. He obviously had his disciples do just that as they're now launching the attack on the Usos. And Earl Hefner, I guess, I guess he draws the line at fire. Because Roman Reigns, oh my god. Don't make the people wait, don't make me wait. Time Seth is Rollins, money, let's go. Impatiently waiting for the bell to ring, but. Oh, oh. what? Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Texas Rattlesnake is here! What a way to start things off this WrestleMania season! Now tell me something real quick. Why in the hell are you just standing there like a dumbass? God damn it, Earl. Bring the goddamn bell. This is the extreme division. If you don't, I'm gonna stop right down there and continue the tradition of fucking your ass up in front of all these people. And that's the bottom line. The stone cold said so. Well, you heard the man break that bell, bitch. It's on. Like the bear from oh. Roman Reigns. Oh, but the distracted Seth Rollins. That is it. And just like that, he can retain the title now! Oh. Seth Rollins just able to kick out! And Earl Hefner letting the bell ringer know that it's not over! Here comes JT but he gets a close line for his troubles! Every day! All day! Roman Reigns not losing his voice unlike me! Now off the rose! Oh, oh. Runs right into a big boot off the mush JTM does! But meanwhile, on the outside, Viscera is looking to kill Jimmy Uso by jumping through him and two tables. This is going to be bad. Oh, Roman Reigns from behind. Oh, God. What a shot in. Oh, my God. Viscera falls right in two. A Samoan drop onto the floor. Oh, my God. JTM, once he thought he had a little bit of offense, he gets cut off. But, oh, there's the insecurity from Seth Rollins. He didn't quite get all of it, but he got enough to stun the Tribal Chief. But there. Jey Uso going after Seth. Seth, Seth counters, but Jimmy able to escape, going for the backdrop, but Rollins hangs on. Oh! Oh, what a shot by Rollins, taking Jey Uso down, and now Rollins is getting ready. Rollins looking for the springboard here. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God. Absolutely, as Viscera hits the big splash in the corner. 
And another lariat to Jimmy. Oh! oh. Roman Reigns utilizing all weapons available to him. And it's doing wonders for him tonight as he goes for that drive-by on top Viscera's face. But oh! What the hell? Where the hell did JTM come from with that huge, brutal-looking double foot stop from the top? Roman Reigns' throat has been crushed by the two feet of JTM. Even still, the punishment is nowhere near done. Irish whip into the steps, but Roman Reigns uses superior strength and now trips up JTM onto the steel. Back first, crashing onto those steps. JTM is in deep trouble here as Jey Uso. No, no don't do it! Oh, oh my Uso God! Slash onto JTM and the ring steps, crushing the ribs and spinal cord of John Trademark. Yeah, just look at it again right here. My God! But I feel like Jey Uso might have hurt his ribs on that one as well. <laughs> There just seems to be nothing the Bloodline won't do in order to keep their namesake, to keep their titles. Or the title, as Roman Reigns called it. That's right. Oh, caught by Viscera. Samoan drop may be incoming. And how ironic it is, but look at this. Roman Reigns able to counter with the guillotine, trying to choke the life out of Viscera. Oh! But Viscera's just too damn strong. And he knows it. And now, the muscle of the disciples is gonna finish Roman Reigns off, but look at this. Oh, bouncing off the ropes. Super spear off the big man. From behind, curb stop. Hard stop by Rollins! Pin him! He's back! This could be your chance, Rollins! Wait! Why isn't he going for the pin? Oh no, this could cost him big. This is a big mistake just waiting to happen, Seth! This is a big mistake! Oh! oh just oh, like I believe! Guillotine. Just like how I predicted! The guillotine has been locked in! Seth Rollins got too excited! And now, he's in the claws of the Great Bear and Roman Reigns! Look at this, able to escape, oh my god, just right back into the guillotine oh. goes Rollins. The Messiah is in trouble. Roman Reigns forcing Rollins back into a guillotine, forcing the air out of his lungs. Viscera, Viscera trying to save his master, but Roman Reigns telling Viscera to acknowledge him. That's exactly what he said, that the disciples will acknowledge him at WrestleMania, and he's trying to do exactly that right That's now. That's right. Roman Reigns would stop at nothing unless the disciples acknowledge him, but Seth Rollins is acknowledging his own strength of God within his body. Wait, no. Wait, don't No. Wait. No, don't make the same mistake Mox did. No, Norman Reigns suplex instead. Oh, my God. Sweet Bright using that barbed wire chair. That was awesome. We could be witnessing the beginning of the end of Roman Reigns' extreme title reign. Rollins off the road by oh. Papa by Jey Uso. It's Bear. a spear in midair by Roman Reigns. This is it. All intents and purposes of oh. JTM from the top. Throwing caution to the wind to save his master's legacy. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my no. God, Spear. That is it. JTM. 
Rollins is out cold. No one's here to save JTM. Ah. Still kicks out. Ow. JTM just kicked out. I, I don't believe it. JTM truly is the MVP of this matchup. Just look out how much punishment he's been taking this entire fight. Yet he still has the wherewithal to keep in the fight. Oh. Oh. And now, now Roman Reigns just brutalizing this young man. This is hard to watch. He's pissed off that this little shit has the nerve to challenge the tribal chief. And now Roman looking to end the career of John Trademark. Wait, but look at JTM. He's begging for it. He wants it to happen! Roman Reigns made oh, oh, it! Oh, kick! Kick! Kick off the top of the head! And JT is right! Super oh. hard stop from the springboard by Rollins! New chat! Gets in the new cover! Yes! Oh, it's just the new Extreme Style Champion! Holy shit, what a match! What a war have we just witnessed here! I think you'd actually book another one of these, you know, since what happened last time. Oh, please. I'm Donald Trump. I always bounce back. And actually, you're just the person I wanted to see. Oh, wow. Really? Well, if that's the case, could I just ask a quick question? I know I just said some random shit on commentary that night, but I'm actually curious now. Does it really cost a bajillion dollars to sit in one of these? Let me put it to you this way. Take a number, triple it, multiply it by 50, raise it to the 10th power, and add two. That's your answer. Dear God. It kind of seems like a ripoff, though, to be honest. You see, I'm a tremendous businessman. Some may even say the best businessman. So much so that I'm quite literally making that money back as I sit here. No, 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 no. I have no doubt, sir. I'm just saying that, uh, I don't know. Maybe if it came with some bitches or something, it might be more worth it. <laughs> uh, Donald, the bitches have arrived. Right on time. Come on in, girls. Make yourselves at home. <laughs> now, where were we? Just discussing the prospect of me not commentating for the show and staying here all night. Please? You know what, kid? I like you. And if it were up to me, I'd let you stay up here with me and the ladies all night long. <laughs> but quite frankly, you got a job to do, and I got a job to do. But I'll tell you what, how about I make your job a little easier? I got a gift just for you. <gasps> Bitches? No. <laughs> You're not quite there yet, young man. Just go and pick up the special present I left for you in the locker room and thank me later. Thank you later. And there you have it, ladies and germs. Now, if you excuse me for just a second, I believe I owe somebody my gratitude. Thank you, Mr. Trump! Well, that is surely interesting, but we gotta get to our next match, the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, that's right, and this match is most perplexing, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I know my little, I know a little bit of vocabulary. But right now, AJ Styles is in a predicament where he has to fight his uh, Bullet Club brethren for the Intercontinental Championship that he helped him win in the first place. Honestly, at the Royal Rumble, it was a very shocking predicament where AJ Styles eliminated Jay White. That's why he even has this opportunity at his championship in the first place. Yeah, and earlier today, AJ Styles tweeted out this. Bullet Club is fine. All tonight is is a friendly competition between brothers. 
And even though AJ Styles may say otherwise, I think this is a desperate move to try and stay on top because imagine you're AJ Styles. Last year, you dropped a bombshell after betraying Kenny Omega, getting your revenge, and sending a message to the GCW champion who just broke Walter's arm. And now, you have no idea what's gonna happen in this year's WrestleMania, so obviously AJ Styles had to come up with some kind of contingency plan to make sure that he has a big name match at WrestleMania. You know what, I, I completely agree with your analysis here. This is exactly what I think went through AJ Styles' head at, at the Royal Rumble when he did what he did to his Bullet Club brother, Jay White. Honestly, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Yeah. AJ Styles, Jay White, it's a mystery as to what Jay White thinks of this whole ordeal. Bullet Club for like, oh wait, Jay oh. White! Pulls him into the Blade Runner! Blade Runner onto AJ Styles! And I guess we got our answer on how Jay White feels about everything in regards to what AJ Styles has been doing here as leader of the Bullet Club. Now AJ Styles. Oh! Puts the feet up as Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows watch from behind. Style and DDT oh. using the steel steps as leverage. And as you can see, the Good Brothers don't know what to make of this. Oh my God, no. Styles crash onto the floor. This is a bit more than a friendly matchup as Jay White was able to escape. Yeah, definitely looks like that as Jay White is now bringing AJ back to the ring. Yeah, you're right. These two just throwing their entire brotherhood out the trash as AJ Styles uses the oh. ropes to complete his Yushigoroshi. Jay White back inside the ring. AJ Styles poised on the outside. Signaling for the phenomenal forearm. Will he be able to land it onto Jay White here and close in on the championship? Ray oh, oh my what a God! Using the ropes to his advantage. Jay White hits a super Uranagi. And now, looking towards the Good Brothers. Oh my God, this drama. It's just too much here. Yeah, I think Jay White is thinking the Good Brothers are working together with AJ Styles against him as he drops him right on, on his head. AJ Styles has been laid out. The Good Brothers don't know exactly what to make of all of this. Jay White, oh, oh. he gets shoved into the referee. Aubrey Everett just got headbutted to oblivion. She's knocked out. What a first day on the job, am I right? <laughs> well, Earl. Earl came now away. AJ, using the opportunity of the ref being knocked out to call in the Good Brothers to help him out win the championship. But it seems like they want nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this. The Good Brothers Just like I said, this is way beyond... Oh, oh, AJ Styles went in doubt, pulled the low blow out, and Jay White has been neutralized. And now Styles... Look at the hit. Oh, God, the final nail in the coffin with that Styles crash. I have no idea what I'm seeing here. AJ Styles has won the GCW Intercontinental Championship. And as you can see, the Good Brothers, they're not too happy about it. Yeah, how was this a friendly competition between brothers? AJ Styles doesn't seem to know what he did wrong as the Good Brothers are just leaving him high to dry. And the crowd seems to agree with that. AJ Styles confused as a Oh, oh look! From look. behind! The American Nightmare! Cody Rhodes! He's back! Cross Rhodes! Oh. Onto AJ Styles! Sending a loud and clear message that he hasn't forgotten the fact that it was AJ who threw him under the dirt last year at WrestleMania during the Tag Team Turmoil match. The biggest question of the WrestleMania 10 has been this. Has Denhausen found a partner for the big Tag Team Turmoil? The time for revealing will be at hand soon. And Denny Housen. 
If you are watching this amazing promo housing right here, right now, Dan Housen would just like to confirm that you have been cursed by Dan Housen at the Cage of Death. So, Dan Housen hopes you enjoy that new suit you have while it lasts. Wait, wait, what? Did he just say what I think he said? He, he actually did curse me, Luke! I'm cursed! I don't even know what that means, but I'm cursed by Dan Housen! What's gonna happen? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna lose my hair? Am I gonna lose my balls? Man, calm down. We don't do any of this supernatural stuff here. But what we're doing tonight is Jake Paul and John Moxley. And look what they've what? done to the ropes. Oh. oh, yeah, you're right. The ropes are gone, and honestly, this, this is reminiscent to a blood sport match. Jake Paul must have had a conversation with Vince McMahon and made this a blood sport match against John Moxley. Yeah, and if that is how it came about, how smart is that eliminating the regular wrestling match aspect that Jake Paul is not too familiar with and changing it for this blood sport type match? I mean, Mox has been in a couple of blood sport matches himself. He's no slouch when it comes to this kind of stipulation. So I don't know how much of an advantage, how much of an advantage it would be for Jake Paul actually. But honestly, Jake Paul seems to have had Mox's number. I mean, Mox had a good lick on him. That was weird. Why did I say that? He actually had a good shot at him at the Royal Rumble with that paradigm shift spiking Jake Paul on his head. But afterwards, Jake Paul returned the favor with that infamous knockout punch right to the jaw of John Moxley. And afterwards, Moxley would gun for Roman Reigns' extreme championship in that cage of death. The same night where I got first. Yeah, and that is the thing that John Moxley needs to watch out for here tonight. That explosive knockout punch by Paul. This is what could cost Moxley the match here tonight. Oh! What's going on over there? I don't think I have to ask that because I know damn well the innovator of unscripted violence, John Moxley, is in the, his house! Yeah, and Moxley got a look for retribution here against Paul after all he's done. As you can see, John Moxley is ready for the occasion. Gone are the days of the flat jeans and the camo pants and the tactical gear. Now it's time for the Death Rider to appear here in GCW once again. As we said before, Jake Paul just loved being a thorn in the side of John Moxley these past few weeks leading up to this matchup. And as you can see, the fans here are sharing the same sentiment as John Moxley when it comes to how he feels about this young man. I feel like Paul was humili humiliated by Moxley at the Rumble getting eliminated so quickly. And that's why he had this whole run against Moxley. The bell rings and both of these combatants are ready to go. None of them want to make a mistake here. Oh, that knockout punch almost caught John Moxley on the jaw. But now Moxley is looking to return the favor by dunking him on his head just like in the Royal Rumble. But Jake Paul just dunks John Moxley on his head. Oh, that was very nicely done. Unexpected here by Paul as he keeps going after Mox. Yes, that amateur background that nobody seems to know about. Jake Paul is no slouch when it comes to grappling, oh. but neither is John Moxley as he just spikes Jake Paul right on his neck into the canvas. And as the ref looks on, John Moxley retains his grip onto the waist of oh. Jake Paul. Look at this, wait a minute. Sunset flip there. Oh, blocks that clothesline from Jake Paul. John Moxley now looking for that X-Plex hair way off. Oh. God. Jake Paul's gonna be feeling that next time he's on Disney Channel. Which maybe never. Yeah, I think that Disney Channel flow is over for Paul. But now Moxley might want to flow into Paul with a regal knee. John Moxley begging Jake Paul to get back up. And I think this means that John Moxley is revving up for that regal knee. Just able to oh. miss it. Oh, that German suplex from Jake Paul. Beating John Moxley in his own game here. 
as Jake Paul is now feeling it. This is his WrestleMania moment. And he's looking to make the most oh, of it right by taking the head. down a former GCW Extreme Champion. Paul is doing much better than I thought he would. And now Paul ready for that. Oh. Now push once again, but John Moxley desperately trying to get out of the way, able to sock Jake Paul right in the mouth on the way down. Yeah, you can see this is really what Mox is doing here, avoiding that punch by any means uh, necessary. As tough as John Moxley is, even he has to be wary of that vicious, deceitful, deceptive knockout punch from Jake oh. Paul. Oh, God! Using the ring post as a weapon against John Moxley might just be the best decision Jake Paul has done in this match. Yeah. Oh! And now Jake Paul flying through the air like a god church! Knee to the face of John Moxley on the way down. Oh my god, it's just brutal. And brutal is something Jake Paul has to be if he wants to survive, let alone win the match against this man. Yeah, but you gotta give him credit. He's pulling out maneuvers here that I didn't expect that he would be able to do. Now rolling John Moxley back inside the ring. Jake Paul has to finish this quick, and he's looking to do so with the ground and pound oh. there. But wait, John Moxley able to maneuver out of the way, and now back into that sleeper hole. Just raking the life from Jake Paul's eyes here as he tries to put him to sleep. Now look at Jake Paul. The strength of this young man is very deceptive here as he's able to get John Moxley off of him. And now oh, he's got... Oh, oh, wait, this could be it! That's a roll up! Oh, oh my God, I thought that was it! I thought that was it for sure. Jake Paul was about to have his WrestleMania moment. Oh, and draws, oh the regal knee out to the side of the head of Jake Paul. Mox is feeling it. Mox roars to the crowd, roars to the heavens as he's about to put Jake Paul down once and for all with this paradigm shift. Oh, Jake Paul able to get out of the oh. way. Knockout punch. Jake Paul didn't quite get it. But look at this. He gets the pile driver. Just spikes John Moxley onto his neck. And this could be very important for Paul. Maybe he can go for that punch now. What quick thinking indeed. As now Jake Paul, he wants John Moxley to watch as he knocks him out with that knockout punch. Watch out! Oh my god! Headlock driver onto the floor! I think we just saw Jake Paul die! And a lot of people in the crowd must be very happy there, but right now I'm very concerned for Jake Paul's health and well-being. Sure, I think he's a little shit, but nobody deserves that. And now just dragging the lifeless body of Jake Paul back inside the ring. You might as well just end it now. John Moxley saying he doesn't give a you-know-what as the ref tries to reason with him. But we all know by now there's no reasoning with John Moxley as he's now ready to put Jakey to sleep. Oh, wait. Well, I guess too late because he already did with that headlock driver onto the floor. I still can't believe that. Yeah, the guy is not moving. Oh. Oh, no. John Moxley... He's thinking of giving Jakey Paul a taste of his own medicine here. The crowd wants to see it. Oh. Knockout punch to the side of the jaw of Jake Paul. And with that, Mox is victorious. Thank God. Yeah, you know, I'm happy too, but Jake did really did do better than I expected. What a win for Mox here on a very unorthodox match, I must say so myself. The first ever Bloodsport match in GCW history. And John Moxley, who better to win that first match than this man right here? Yeah, still a win to his record. And now he can move on to bigger and better things. Yeah, th this all pretty much started off with me being on a phone call with MDT and him. 
uh, telling me about how he was training and how I'd feel if he made his in-ring debut at the GCW Royal Rumble in 2021. When Luke told me that MDT, my damn toys, Trey White, would be making his pro wrestling debut at the 2021 GCW Royal Rumble match, I, I honestly, I thought it was a joke. Personally, I loved the idea. It was great. And uh, MDT obviously was able to back it up in the ring as well. Me personally, when I saw him in that match, there was no denying that he was born to do this. And I guess the joke was on me that night. <laughs> Getting Stage Creator to come in was just perfect timing. He was just recovering from what Owens did to him and wanted to rebuild somewhere away from WSC. Stage Creator was back by the grace of God. And honestly, I could not have been any prouder to see that. Trey and Nate forming Team YouTube was just, it was inevitable, what, what can I say? Them as a team was a controversial move, but, you know, they backed it up in the ring and in the ratings. Hey, these two came from athletic backgrounds, they have such a natural talent for this industry and the same passion to go with it. And to top it all off, their ring chemistry was just unreal. They went together like chocolate and peanut butter, damn it. And then G-Man, yeah, um, I remember his match with Penta, how it caught everybody's attention, uh, also mine. I went over to his birthday party in FAW and, uh, you know, obviously Vince signing him was just the right decision. There was a time where nobody knew where he'd end up. Would he stay in FAW, go to WSC, f SWE, no one knew, there was no telling. But all it took was some punk ass Hardy Boy to make a bad move, and G Man kicked down that forbidden door for a third time in GCW. And Three of them aligning at the Rumble, I think, was very special. I think that match was one of the all time classics here in GCW. I personally thought we'd see more of the trio, but Vince obviously had other ideas. The fact was, he built a bond with Trey and Nate, and just as quickly as he did, now he has to face them. I'll be honest with you. The one who really worries me in this match, surprisingly, is the stage creator. There's no denying that out of the three, he's the biggest star. But lately, he's been off. I know he's got this beef with CM Punk, and, and I get it. I really do. I had to save the guy from getting steamrolled by him, for God's sakes. But to say that he'll leave GCW for ever if he loses this match yeah sounded kind of entitled to be honest it's pretty weird i mean there trey was kicking ass with stage creator and being a part of the talking feds gang and just suddenly he's like a ghostly urban legend or some shit in the later months of his career here in gcw getting a response from mdt was like winning the lottery and it wasn't like he just disappeared from social media entirely either. He's retweeting everything Jeremy Padauer does. He shows up to NLW show talking about it being an owner or some shit. I don't know. But when he's faced with the biggest match of his life, nothing? I don't get it. But then I got to thinking, maybe he's just as conflicted as G-Man. I mean, I know how much this run means to him, how much the title reign drove him to new heights, and now he's stuck in a position where he's got to step over those who helped him get there? That shit gets to you, man. Yeah, communication with MDT definitely soured during during his run here in, in GCW. Uh, you want to know my personal opinion? Okay, don't go onto the dirt sheets and report it as a fact. It's just my personal theory right here. MDT came into GCW wanting to make a name for himself. He kind of slid into the tag team with Stage Creator. But, you know, after all, he wanted more. That's why, when that three-way was announced, he ghosted. He uh, didn't talk like the others did. He was out there focusing, training, preparing. For that big match and becoming number one contender for the GCW championship. 
without a shadow of a doubt, this is the most divisive match in GCW history. All three of these guys have what it takes to become the next breakout star, but only one can do it. And if you ask me, I cannot bet against my cousin. G-Man is the hungriest of them all, and he has the most to prove. Without the GCW title, both of you have something to fall back on. I don't have it! This! This is all I have! This is all I am, and this is where I fucking belong! Nate and Trey are good, I'm not denying that, but they haven't been through what G-Man has in that way. Not even close. But at the same time, his emotions in this match might just be his downfall. All I know for sure is that when the chips are down, all three of them are in for the fight of their lives at WrestleMania. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The wait is over. It's finally time to see who will rise to the top and who will, in fact, sink to the bottom. Indeed, and we have that big match feeling in the air here tonight. I'm so excited. There goes our pal, WSC stage creator. Nate has a very star-studded record in this industry. He's been WSC Hardcore Champion twice, and he's been a part of one of the most dominant tag teams in GCW history, holding that championship for nearly a record time, I believe, until it took the greatest tag team in the world to take them out. But now, he's in there with my cousin, the infamous G-Man. strives to be better than the man who took out Pentagon in that three stages of hell match. And now we've reached the culmination of his rise. Oh! Oh! This is the moment that G-Man has been striving for ever since that hellish match against Pentagon Jr. The opportunity to prove that he belongs in the big time. But in order to do that, he has to beat his two friends that he's made along the way. Honestly, I'm pretty split here. But what the hell? No! Oh! Sponsored by Mountain Dirt! My damn toys, Trey White, is here. We haven't seen him since he lost the Tag Team Championships, but now he's here in all of his glory, and he's gunning for that number one contendership, no matter what happens in that ring. And honestly, I can respect that. And look at him, how determined he looks. No posing, just straight to the ring, and wants this match to start. And it seems like Trey is just ready to get this started already. As we await three rising stars of the game 
poised against each other. Oh. There's MDT forcing G-Man into the corner, and he wants to get this started as quickly as possible. Honestly, I'd say good on MDT. Oh, try to go for that. Oh, oh. goodness gracious. G-Man trips up MDT just to get away from his offensive maneuvers there. Ducks the clothesline from WSC, tries to go for his own. WSC Wade gets caught into that German suplex position. WSC reverses, counters into this electric chair position. And now, oh God, shades of their tag team days. MDT and WSC are looking to take down G-Man together. Yes, MDT now in position for that double foot stump. To the back. Oh, not this insane oh. move. They did this to Dolph Ziggler. But wait, oh. G-Man is a lot smarter than he looks, bitch. And just like that. Oh! MDT was not taking any chances there. As he hits that dive, wipes out G-Man. And now all that's left is WSC. The stage creator's in trouble. As MDT looking to hit some kind of springboard maneuver. Oh, that corkscrew stunner. And look where WSC landed in that corner. I can see the look in the eyes of MDT. Oh, what, what's going on here? I think he's calling to the, the crew. Oh. oh. Dropping down that giant Mountain Dew can. Earl Hebner doesn't know what the hell he's looking at, and neither do I. But it's pretty awesome. As now, MDT has WSC in a very precarious position here. As he's looking for that Shane McMahon style coast to coast. Assisted with the giant mountain. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Damn near went through the can. But wait, there's G-Man. Oh, with the crucifix pin. Wait, no, never mind. Transition into the oh. rampage. DDT just drives MDT's head into the canvas. And now looking for that cover. This could be it. No. MDT gets the shoulder up. Earl Hebner has to reassure the timekeeper that it was, in fact, two count only. Now here comes Demon. Oh, runs right into a super kick. I think he's knocked out cold. Yeah, I think so too. That hit him hard. And now the stage creator and MDT are getting back to their feet. And now with G-Man out of the ring, it's all up to these two former tag team champions to go at it once and for all in the middle of this ring. And now wait a minute, pop up into the oh. ball breaker. That's new. Yeah. I never seen that before in WSC's repertoire of offense. And now. MDT is in the perfect position for WSC to pull off a huge maneuver here. Oh, wow, what a dive by WSC. It comes as easy as... even on my level. What? Let him know, Danny. Oh. Let him know, Danny. Okay, uh, I'll let him know. I'll let him know that you're about oh. to get your ass handed to you by my cousin G-Man with that springboard clothesline from the outside. And this could be G-Man's moment. All he has to do is hit one more big maneuver. Oh. oh, God. WSC thinking on his feet there. Nicely countered there. I'll give credit where credit is due. But now what the hell are you doing? Now, oh, my goodness no. gracious. Falcon oh. Oh, up to the top turn. Oh. Jesus Christ. But now he's not done. Reverse what? Prada. God, he just killed him. G-Man has taken a lot of punishment in his past. But I don't think anything tops what I've just seen there. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course it has, but it still doesn't take away how vicious that was. And now WSC is looking to finish things off with the creation of destruction. Oh, G-Man able to turn it. Oh, my goodness, just takes the head off of his friend. With no remorse there. But you gotta do what you gotta do. From what I'm seeing, G-Man, WSC, and MDT just like how I predicted, are in the fight of their lives. Absolutely, more of a desperation lariat there by G-Man. But now, they're both getting back to their senses. And G-Man with a punch to the gut and another one to the face. 
No demon for after WSC, but oh! Been able to escape all that elbow to the mush. And now what's G-Man thinking of doing here? Oh my god, no. Why are you looking over here, cuz? Oh, don't tell oh. me he's looking for a suplex on to our yeah. team, but we better get the hell out of here! God damn, don't do it! There's a thing! What? Oh my god! Suplex onto the announce table! All three men are down! This was just crazy! These three may be friends, but as far as I'm concerned, as far as I can see, they might as well be enemies as MDT is drawing the line! Could it be? The final nail in the coffin in this match of proud to the Jeffman Way! Reversal by G-Man! Countered into oh. the Burner Breaker! Just drops him on his neck! Just like that, G-Man has turned the tides in his own favor as MDT is down and WSC has not moved since that vicious suplex onto our announce table. And now G-Man signaling that it might be over. Suplex stunner here! Wait! MDT able to reverse! Leap rocks over G-Man! G-Man onto the ropes! Now goes oh, that reverse one up and gets countered into that German suplex! Great thinking on the feet of G-Man! Yeah, definitely had MDT well scouted right there. And now, my cousin has MDT in a queen suplex position. If he hits this, it might be over, but wait a minute! Oh, oh. WSC disaster! No! Oh. My goodness! What a counter! The reversal! MDT might just steal the win! It might oh. be No! Kick out from G-Man! It's not over! I repeat, it is not over! Super kick to the back of the head! G-Man now! He's feeling it! Wait a minute! It's a guard to the back of the face! No! 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 And Stage Creator can't believe it either. For a second, man, I thought for sure that was it. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, the fans chanting for a certain punk to appear here. There's been rumors around that the beef between WSC and CM Punk has transcended from WSC, but now MDT looking to get the people what they no want to see way. Countered by WSC oh. into his own go to sleep! Oh. Using CM Punk's move! No! Oh. It's still not enough! How did Trey kick out of that? CM Punk, a legend in GCW lore. Being dishonored by WSC there when he uses his own move against MDT creation of destruction there oh. oh nice counter by MDT Lariat blocked oh my god head butted the lights out of WSC's head and now MDT struggling to capitalize here both WSC and MDT are both tuckered out here but wait, look, look! Oh. with the eclipse onto both of them! Takes both competitors out! Come on! Come on, cuz, get it! Get up there! G-Man! Looking to put things over! Looking to put it out of way! Wait, from the top! WSC! Has G-Man in his clutches! Oh my god! From the top from that fall away slam! What a transition into the drive by to the back of the head! And now, looking for that TKO to complete the trifecta! He lands it! There it is! This could be over! WSC wins it! Oh, thank the Lord! 
G-Men have the wherewithal to kick out, and now it's WSC. Who's oh, that? Wow. What? 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 It's not a white wing, it is! It is! GCW's retired legend! Say a punk has returned! And he's brandishing the classic GCW t-shirt! I cannot believe my eyes! He's really honing in on the fact that it's been four years since this man has stepped inside of a GCW arena! This is just insanity here. And now, vengeance is served ice cold as he clobbers oh. WSC with that steel knee. He must have stolen that from WSC's locker room backstage. Honestly, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. CM Punk is back in GCW for one time only, and it was to screw over WSC's chance. And just like that, a thief in the night. He runs away, and now G-Man, he's conflicted. He doesn't know if he should take advantage of white. MDT what? has no problem taking oh, advantage. Oh, oh, it's, it's over. The second time of the night. This is it. How? Oh, How? G-Man kicks out of the second gratitude adjustment! This match is still going! And now Trey's conflicted, but he goes for it! Look at him take advantage now! Oh. G-Man breaks up the count just barely! Earl Hefner says it's just too, I am out of breath! I am exhausted seeing these three men go at it! And now MVT, what else does he have to do, damn it? I have no idea. Looking for one last gratitude adjustment there. Wait, she was able to counter. And he has Trey White into some what kind of that? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, what was that? A variation of the Omega Driver! The awful waffle! By G-Man! He put his own spin in it! And now the only one left in the ring is WSC! Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I need this. G-Man throwing caution to the wind. It's time he puts this match out of its own misery. He has WSC. Final oh. now in the coffin with that suplex stunner. Is this it? Yes! My cousin is going straight to the top, baby! Oh, oh that match. What a match. What an emotional roller coaster! As it's G-Man, the arguable underdog of this matchup, who reigns supreme. But look at the damage. Look at the price that it costed him. G-Man wins, but at a heavy cost here. Ladies and gentlemen, you kept asking for it, so we are going to supply you with some custom figureheads now available on the eBay page. We got two different Brock Lesnar Viking looks, we got Edge's current new head scan, and we got an Antichrist Jeff Hardy, all available in the GCW FAW Superstore on eBay right now. Link in the description down below. For the GCW Tag Team Championship Turmoil Match. Yes, and here are the champions, the Young Bucks. We see here how they have won the championship from MDT and Stage Creator. Yeah, my cousin was there front and center to witness that firsthand. But now it's time to see if everyone in this matchup can hold on to the legacy that is the GCW Tag Team Championships. And a second team of the five that will be competing here tonight are Darby and Sting. Sting and Darby Allen are no strangers when it comes to taking on the odds. 
Each time, the odds were against them, against the Bloodline. But now, it's up to them to defeat the greatest tag team in GCW history, the Young Bucks. Oh, wait, Darby Allen trying to go for the Stun Dog Millionaire there. But Matt Jackson able to block. But look at this. Look oh. who's behind you, Matt. by Darby Allen and what a clothesline by the icon. Now Sting sending Nick into the corner. Nice counter. Whoa, my goodness. Is he okay? I hope so. What a nasty fall there by Darby Allen. I'm sure he'll be all right. Nick Jackson celebrating a little bit too soon wow. as Sting lets him have it. Kick right to the jaw of Snake, but he knows something. Snake has to be the greatest professional wrestler at his age. Oh, no. Break to the eyes there by Matt Jackson. A little bit of dirty trick play. Oh, super kick right to the side of the head again, but Sting is still a standing. Oh, maybe not for long. After one more super kick right to the mush. But look at Sting still on his feet with that leaping lariat! I don't know what Sting was drinking before breakfast this morning, but let me get some of that. Oh, wait! Able to duck the super kicks. Oh, my God! Face first into that ring post. Darby Allen speaking on a higher level here in this tag team turmoil match. Oh. Sting looking for that stinger death drop. And now Darby looking to assist with his own coffin drop. Up top, wait a minute. Wait wow, a minute, man. Matt Jackson. Oh. oh! Darby Allen assisted with that Indy Taker. He didn't even know what he's done yet. This could be oh. a no. Darby Allen saves the matchup for his team. That was close. Oh, oh what an answer, Curry. Did you hear the sound of his foot yeah. crashing against the side of the head of Darby Allen? But now things might not be done as Matt Jackson is getting ready for that indie taker onto the apron. If he hits this, Darby is done with. But oh look, my Darby. God, Darby Allen with the reversal of a lifetime. Did I just see that right? I think you did, Hurricane Rana. And now Darby up top. Matt Jackson's in deep trouble! Darby Coffin dropped to the stomach! Now he just gotta pin him! One, two, yes. we are guaranteed new champions by the end of the night! No way! Could it be? It's my man Otis! Now Chad Gable's with him. What a belly to belly suplex. Just threw him around like he's a rag doll. And there goes Otis. Power among everything. And now what's this? A little bit of tag team action here. A little bit of double team. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. Using Darby out as a battering ram as his feet nearly knocked over our table. And now Otis and Chad Gable reveling in their victory. A bit premature, I should say. But Sting landed hard. And now, Otis thinking of a <laughs> suplex from the outside up to the old timer. What strength being displayed here. And what agility from Chad Gable with that moot song. Could this be a new champions now? Sting still able to kick out. They were that close to putting away Sting there, but Sting you know, honestly, he's been a real MVP so far in this Tag Team Turmoil match. But now, what are they thinking? What is Alpha Academy thinking here? Now Otis going for the Vader Bomb here. This could be catastrophic. No! Sting got the boot up. Face first onto the boot goes Otis. Oh! And into the turnbuckle. Sting is feeling himself. Gets ready for the Stinger Splash! Lands it perfectly. But watch out, Sting. Here comes Otis. What, what the hell? Oh. The strength of Sting goes no bounce. You think he might have hurt himself as the coffin drops. And Otis kicks out. I thought for 
Trevor Sword, that was in from a man Otis, and now Gable from behind with that German suplex. What a rough landing there to Sting. But oh, wait a minute. Stun Dog Millionaire countered into the ankle lock. Chad Gable could make Darby Allen tap out. Probably for the first time, if I'm correct. But Darby Allen trying to wiggle his way out of it. Wait a minute. Oh. Code Red! Code Red to Chad Gable! And no! My boy is out of the match! Damn it! There are two teams left. Oh, and oh. oh, oh no. Oh God, Luke, I need to hide right now. Quick, give me some place to hide. Oh no, here he comes. That little freak of nature, that little shit, Luke. I can't stand to even look at him. I think the curse yes, is going to intensify if I look at him. Your oh, eyes do not deceive you, Denny Hurton. It is now time for Denny Hurton to reach his destiny and reveal to all the world. Who is his partner, Houghton? It will shock you to your very close. Right there, oh, 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 no! Luke! Oh, God! Luke! Oh, no! What did you do? What did you do? The curse is real! God damn it! You hurt my friend! I'm gonna get you at the Celeste! Oh! Oh! No! No way! Could that be Dan Houghton's partner? I've heard rumors online! Yes, do you see now, Denny Houghton? Den Harrison's partner is the best partner in all the universe. He has chosen wisely, better than you could ever be, Denny Harrison. Yes. Okay, Abyss Harrison, time to do that poison run on yourself, famous Wait, What did he just say? Abyss with a revert? Yes, yes. Now go up top and hit the shooting star press. What? I think it's time to give the people what they want, Abyss. Hit that Canadian Destroyer! You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'd actually love to see Abyss do a Canadian Destroyer, but Abyss would rather just go back to catering! So much for the best partner right. in the right. world, right. Housen! Huh, Dan Housen? Where are you going? Abyss! Abyss is we leaving Dan Housen cold! You are under contract with Dan Housen! But you know what? Screw this! this. I'm gonna take with matters into my own hands, ladies and gentlemen. Abyss Housen! Yeah, yeah, just keep it. an agreement! He was time for the reverse runner. Oh, keep talking, you son of a bitch. You gonna curse me? Huh? You gonna curse me? I'll give you a curse. I'll give you a curse right here and right now with this steel tear to oh. the music of all holy emperor where's danny oh my god iron fingers just like last year this is it oh i thought the techers would pull an upset just like last year as zach is going for the zach driver sting counters in a scorpion death drop but the x bomber hit sting and there's Darby, but oh my god, what a European uppercut by Zach. Danny, what happened? Taichi now going for the Black Mephisto counter spike to Darby Allen. But but Zach, Zach, oh stealing it, stealing it, get a clutch, no! My goodness, what has happened to you? I think this is the final team. The Tankers are the final team. Just like last year. And uh oh, Zack Driver no! Into the backpack stunner by Darby. And now he might have him in perfect position for the coffin drop. But oh, Zack, right back up, right back into the sleeper. Sleeper on the top rope. This very, very dangerous. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm still recovering from that. Darby Allen flying onto me as Darby counters. Oh my god! Oh my god! What a counter! What a counter! And Sting and Darby win the G1 
GCW Tag Team Championship coming out as the second team surviving every single team in the match here tonight. What an effort by Sting and Darby. Now I gotta catch up with Danny Oh, what happened there. But at least Danhausen is gone. As we crown the new GCW Tag Team Champions here tonight. Ah, Mr. Wildcard. So happy to see that you made it. Welcome. Happy to be here, Vince. We were just streaming the show on the way to this arena, and oh, holy Stromboli, you got a huge house on your hands, don't you? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you so much. We really tried to go all out here. No kidding. I mean, this has to be some kind of record. Ho oh, ho ho! I cannot wait to get out there and see what it feels like to strut my stuff in front of that many people. Yes. Wait, what? I'ma go out there and set the mic on fire. The fuck you mean? You can't say that here. Huh? We already have parents complaining in the comments about your old commentator's foul language. I don't need any more of that crap. You're telling me dudes can go flying through glass panes, get sliced up by hooks and barbed wire chairs, and get put through flaming tables. But your audience draws the line at no-no words. Yeah. Even the competition has literal animal abuse in their shows, but the people are fine with it as long as there's no cursing. I don't get it either, but that's just the way it is. Right. Well, I'll just keep it PG for the widow babies and soccer moms, then. Just let me have a mic and I'll do my best. Well, you know, besides the swear words, we also gotta think about view duration. And having you out there spouting some nonsense will most likely tank that. To be honest, we're probably taking it right now. What in God's name are you saying to me right now? What? You never check your analytics? Hmm. That's probably why your views are so low. What? And besides, if you go out there, the people won't even know who you are in the first place. You'll just end up embarrassing yourself. Trust me, you should probably save it until after our big project is over with. <laughs> okay, listen, you- Hey, uh, so Vince, uh, where's the party at, huh? I know every WrestleMania's got one, so uh, where's it at? <laughs> oh yeah, it's currently going on backstage. We got the finest five-star catering. I heard they even got six for their service in the Tokyo Dome. Makes sense. And the beer ain't too bad either. Now it's nothing like my APAs, but it's pretty damn good. You know, I completely forgot you were standing there this whole time. How the hell are you, Steve? Uh, I'm doing just fine. Taking into account that I gotta deal with this asshole all day? God damn it, Austin, stop swearing! Anyway, I'm actually getting ready to host the first ever GCW Smoke and Skull Sessions. And you know what? How's about you be my first guest? But, but Austin, the view duration. Man, shut your dumb ass up before I gave you a five star ass whooping. Me, on the Broken Skull Sessions. No filter. No filter. I think that's a great idea. No swearing, though. Jesus, I God, I get you it all hell out of me. Let's just get to the damn party. Oh, with the way this is going, I'm gonna need all the booze I can get. Come on, boss man. Man, your former boss here at GCW WrestleMania. How awesome is that? I'm gonna keep it a buck and a bean with you, Luke. I have no idea what you just said to me. My ears are still ringing from that last match, and my head hurts like a mother... Whatever. Right now, it's Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy in the final chapter that is Jeff Hardy's conquest of GCW. That guy's still a piece of garbage in my mind, but right now, he might just have his comeuppance at the hands of his one abandoned brother, Matt Hardy. Scarred Matt Hardy, to be exact. Yes, exactly. Matt Hardy looking for revenge after all the mental and physical damage Jeff has put him through. And if I'm not mistaken, this might just be the first ever Buried Alive match in GCW history. And what a fitting way to have it since that WrestleMania 10. Well, we had one like 11 years ago, but that's so long ago it barely counts as now the Antichrist of GCW makes his way into the arena. Ever since burying The Undertaker, Placing him inside of that casket, Jeff Hardy has had a tough time reaching the top, probably due to his actions. He 
You know what they say, karma's a bitch. What goes around comes back running. But now Jeff Hardy has to face his brother, his blood, in one of the most brutal matches ever conceived by man, a buried alive match. Yeah, I don't think Jeff cares at all about his brother. He just cares to get another victory onto his record here tonight. No oh one, my god! Oh my god! What the? Was that Matt? It, I think it was. The crowd. He it just is. came out of nowhere! I have no idea that was gonna happen! My god, Matt Hardy jump starting the match. Matt Hardy dealing with the element of surprise in such a fantastic way to catch his brother off guard. Oh, what a close line to Jeff. And now Matt looking to end things early by shoving him into that grave. But Jeff Hardy is not going to let that happen. No, sir. And now wait a minute, going for the whisper. Oh, the oh my God. Back first onto that terrain. And now Jeff Hardy is so close to the grave, literally one foot in the grave. Yeah, that has had to hurt. You know, obviously it doesn't have the same features as a ring does. What on God's name is Matt Hardy gonna do with that ladder? But Jeff oh. Hardy's not gonna wait to find out as he uses it against his brother. And now Matt might be busted open. Oh God. Busted open, Matt Hardy is as Jeff Hardy now has that ladder. What the hell could possibly be happening now? Matt Hardy is in a very dangerous position here as Jeff Hardy, oh, puts him right back onto that terrain. Right behind that gravestone. And now Jeff has erected the ladder to its highest point. And now what's Jeff doing? Looking down on his brother as he's now climbing the rungs of that ladder. What, what the hell is he doing? I have no idea. Matt Hardy's just as confused as I am. And now Jeff voluntarily going high risk here, baiting his brother to fight him on top of the ladder. That doesn't seem like Jeff. What kind of predicament could this be? Oh. Oh, wait, wait, no, Hardy. No. Oh, oh my God, I knew it. I knew that sly son of a bitch had something else up his sleeve as he sent his brother plummeting from the skies down below. Oh my God, what a nasty landing. That ladder almost hit us. My life just flashed before my eyes once again. I already had another concussion in this match. I really don't need this one. Yeah, as Jeff now is bringing Matt Hardy back. Oh. Now once again, just can't get over his own hype. Mocking the Undertaker. Wait a minute, Matt Hardy looking to do the same thing he did at the Royal Rumble. Tombstone into the grave. But wait, Hardy escapes. What's this? Oh, back oh. body drop. Oh my God, just barely missed that grave. Falls back first onto the terrain. Now going for that side effect, but wait, Jeff Hardy. Able to escape off the ropes. Oh, what a clothesline back inside of the ring. And now Hardy, Matt, I should say, going up top, going for this moonsault, Larry. Oh, oh no, what a counter into the twist of hate by Jeff Hardy. He had it scouted perfectly. Yeah, what a perfect counter there. Catching Matt Hardy in midair with the twist of hate. Tombstone pile driver revving up for it. He lands perfectly. The top of Matt Hardy's head crashing against the canvas. Jeff Hardy might have victory in hand here. As Matt Hardy's lifeless carcass is about to be dragged into that grave. This could be it for the Hardy bloodline. Or at least but, oh, nice. it, but he still fights. He's still got fight. Now Hardy, what's he staring at? Oh, that shovel. If he grabs that shovel, it might be over for Jeff. Oh, and he knew it there as he stops Matt Hardy from reaching that shovel. Now Jeff trying to grab him away. Hardy, oh, what a power bomb into the grave. Vicious, vicious sound as Hardy fell. I think the top of his head collided with that hard soil. Yeah, possibly. 
And now Matt Hardy emerges from the grave and grabs the shovel. This could be the beginning of the end for Jeff Hardy's career here in GCW. Jeff, you better oh. watch it. Oh, God, shovel hard steel to the face of Jeff Hardy. I hate that dude, but I don't think anybody deserves that. Well, maybe Dan Housen after what he's done to me. But that's besides the point. The point is, Matt Hardy's not done with Jeff as he wants what? to do. Oh! Oh! No! Wait! Wait! No. Wait! Is it really? Is it really him? Where is he? Where is he? What? Twist the face! Using the, the, the gravestone! That's all well and dandy, but where's the Undertaker? The crowd wants to know too. Don't tell me this was another swerve here. What? Wait a minute. Who, who's that? They're they're at the they're at the sound booth. They just knocked down the operator. Who the hell was that? I have no idea. Looked like an Undertaker coach. Now Jeff Hardy crawling to the dirt to try and pour all that dirt onto there would be it but oh! oh Matt Hardy using the turnbuckle hook the same thing that put him away for so long in the first place how poetic is this now all he has to do is finish him off yes twist of fate what Jeff who's Hardy. that oh, oh. What the hell? Oh. who is that they just tackled Matt Hardy into the grave! Jeff is throwing the dirt! Jeff That's Hardy it! That's it! Finishes off the match! The dirt being poured onto Matt Hardy's lifeless body inside the grave! And Jeff Hardy just escaped this buried alive match! What? What? of unholy alliance have we just seen being born here, Luke? I have no clue. But this, this could be dangerous. Jeff Hardy in a new and improved edge could be what changes GCW forever in the near future. You guys gotta check out WrestleListic. You can get custom stages printouts. You can get a custom arena printout. You can get custom backstage printouts. Pretty much whatever you need for your fed, you can get at WrestleListic.com. And you can also message him for personalized stuff for your personal fed. Like I'm doing right now, we're working on some cool stuff that will be uh, revealed in upcoming videos. So definitely make sure to check out WrestleListic.com. And now, to everyone watching at home, to everyone here in attendance, it is now time for the final stretch in this year's GCW WrestleMania. Starting with the most prestigious title in all of professional wrestling today, the GCW World Championship. Big Fight Feel is nowhere near enough to describe the energy of this arena as of right now. And speaking of energy, Will Ospreay, the challenger, has been a master of that Black Air Force energy as of late. Today might be the day that Will Ospreay finally achieves his dream, achieves his goal, achieves his birthright in the form of the GCW world title.
Honestly, I can kind of understand where the crowd is coming from. They're booing the hell out of Will Ospreay, letting him know that he sucks. But honestly, in my opinion, Will Ospreay has more than enough earned his shot at the GCW World title. He's done everything in his power to get to this point. And he won the Royal Rumble fair and square, even after getting spiked on his head by Brock Lesnar on the apron, people. He definitely does deserve it, but he hasn't been acting nice on the lead-up to this match. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I know he was a bit of a dick at that press conference. He said everything, did everything he could in his power to get in the head of Kota Ibushi. And guess what? It worked, and it may work a little too well, because now we may be seeing the end of GCW's golden era. This could be the final night of Kota Ibushi's world title reign. Yeah, ever since he has won the championship from AJ, Kota Ibushi has been on a great reign pretty much ever since stepping foot into the company here. Ever since Kota Ibushi has debuted, he skyrocketed to the top and Will Ospreay just couldn't stand that fact. He's been bitter ever since Kota Ibushi hit that Kamigoye off the top of that ladder and allowed Kota Ibushi to grab that briefcase. Will Ospreay said that it was a cheap shot, said that it was an easy way out for Kota Ibushi, and now Ibushi's on a mission to prove Ospreay wrong. As you can see, he's just getting in the face of Ospreay as tensions are running high and the match hasn't even started. Bell rings, and the championship is on the line. Whoa, what a kick there from Will Ospreay. Didn't quite make the mark, but oh, oh. that big boot did. Right to the face of Kota Ibushi. And Ospreay having some choice words. But oh, oh, he gets answered right back with that palm strike to the jaw of Will Ospreay. The challenger is down, and he might just be out. Kota Ibushi could pin him right now, and he might win. Yeah, that was a very, very nice slap as he follows up with the forearm now. Osprey into the corner and Ibushi goes for the German suplex. The German suplexes from Kota Ibushi are some of the most vicious in all of professional wrestling. As you can see, Osprey getting dunked on his neck there. And he's definitely going to be feeling that long after this night is over. Definitely. Oh! And another kick to add insult to injury to the challenger and Kota Ibushi, he has a bone to pick with Will Ospreay all right. He's just trying to punish him. Oh my God, what a counter from Will Ospreay. Spike Kota Ibushi on his head. Oh, and what a kick to the back of the head. This is what Ospreay is so good at, changing the momentum of the match in a matter of seconds. And now he is in control of Ibushi. Oh God. Oh. Even after everything we've seen just far, this is still the feeling out process. Ibushi is on the outside, and as we know, nobody is safe! Oh, Sasuke special attempt there from Will Ospreay, but it didn't quite My end! God. But that death clothesline sure as hell did! Yeah, that was vicious. All the strength Ibushi put into that one, insane. What the hell is he thinking now? Oh my no. God, channeling some of the energy from his best friend years ago. Kenny Omega did something similar with the super moonsault from the top of that scaffolding. And he lands on his Does feet. Does Kota Ibushi have no regard for his personal well-being? Oh! Oh. And Osprey kicks out, just barely able to. He's already taken so much damage, and we barely just got started. And now Kota Ibushi. Running the ropes there. Wait a minute. Osprey moonsault off the chest of Kota Ibushi and oh. hits that into Guri. Right to the back of the head of Kota Ibushi. The champion is stunned. And Osprey hits that super kick. But look at Ibushi. He's still on his feet. Oh, and what a roundhouse kick. Kota Ibushi might just be out cold there. You're a fight jump. As Osprey letting everybody know that he's. Just a fake champ, as he said at that press conference. And he's looking to prove himself right here. What on earth could he possibly no. be thinking? No. Oh, oh my god, he just killed him with that stomp! 
At this point, can you blame Will Ospreay for thinking that? He's definitely doing very well in this match if you know goes up to the top rope. Now what's Osprey thinking? From the top oh, another double foot stop right to the mouth of Kota Bushi. Is this it? No! The champion is still in the match, and the championship remains around his waist just for now. And look at I'm this. Osprey talking that mad <laughs> trash to everybody here, including Kota Bushi. He's looking to prove not only Kota Ibushi that he is worthy of being the world champion, of carrying this company. He's proving ah. to the people at the back, the suits, the higher ups of this company. Oh my ah. God! What a Pele kick! Just look how Osprey went flying. Ibushi having a second win as he hits that vicious kick. Oh, ah. double knees, boom, some onto the sternum of the challenger, and Osprey might just be eating his words now. Off the ropes. Oh, what a knee to the side of the ear. And now Ibushi thinking it might be over. No, still not enough to take down Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay has had a storied career here in GCW. Had one of the longest reigns I've ever seen when he held that GCW Cruiserweight Championship. But ever since he lost it, to Jushin Liger, he's Kamagoye. got better things on his mind. But now, Ibushi tries to go for that Kamagoye. Wait a minute, reversal by Osprey into that reverse Rana. Spikes Kota Ibushi on the top of his head. And now, Osprey has an opening here for the Os Osprey. Oh my no, God. Oh Poison my God. Rana attempted counter, but Osprey had it scouted this it time. Oscutter, new champion. Again, able to power out. I thought that was it. But Osprey is now signaling that he will go for Hidden Blade to finish up the Golden Star. Hidden Blade, but now Ibushi out of the way. Oh, what a knee from Kota Ibushi there. Just able to avoid oh. that Hidden Blade super kick from Osprey. Both of these men yeah. not going to back down. Close like way. Transitions into a power oh. bomb. <laughs> My goodness. What a power bump! What a counter by Osprey! This crowd is just eating everything up that they're seeing in this blockbuster title match. Both of these men have been through everything thus far. What else could they possibly do to the other? Trying to go for oh. Osprey, but oh my god! No. Osprey just fell to his demise after getting cut down by that kick from Kota Ibushi! Did you see the way he landed uh, yeah. onto the floor? And I think the back of his head hit our announce table on the way down. Osprey might be out of this match. Ref's now checking on him. Officials checking on the challenger, rightfully so. And Kota Ibushi's in the middle of the ring. I don't know what's going on in his mind. I can never know, but I think he just told the refs to, to clear the way. And oh, now no. Ibushi going for that Golden Star Trail. What? What? Oh, my God. Me neither. But now both men are down. Osprey took impact again on the back, landing from that os cutter. But it wasn't a very important counter. And now Osprey trying to drag the lifeless carcass of Ibushi back in the ring. If he gets the cover, this could be it. Yeah, I definitely think so. I've never seen an os cutter just like that. But Osprey still has trouble as well. Now Osprey still feeling the effects of that bump he took. The sacrifices he's made to get this far will pale in comparison to the reward he will claim if he lands this hidden blade. Yeah. Osprey going for the hidden blade. Oh, oh no! Oh no! The after effects of that bump to the outside are getting the better of the challenger. And now Ibushi oh, making things worse with that German suplex. I don't know if he got all of it, but he got just enough. 
with the amount of injuries Osprey has sustained thus far, that small German suplex might as well be one taken from Brock Lesnar. Yeah, but now look, and look. Now speaking of German suplexes, Ubushi's going for his signature one. No! Oh! oh my God, once again, Osprey landing on his feet, but he can't capitalize. Oh, wait, yes, he what? can't. Wait, what? Oh, Kamakoye, oh. Kamakoye, another oh. one, another one to the jaw. That's Osprey it, that's it. Down. Osprey is down. No, are you kidding me? What is happening in this title match? That was so quick by Ibushi. What a counter. Two Kamagoyes and Osprey able to kick out. I am absolutely speechless. And now Another Ibushi one. going to get that final blow. The third Kamagoye to end it all. Wait, Monkey what? flips into oh. the ref. The ref is down. Big Ben Earl continuing the tradition of getting his ass handed to him in every pay-per-view. But now it's at the most crucial point in this match. What? Oh, Who's that? Wait, what? Who the? Wait, is that? Is that Walter? It looks like him. Oh my God! Huge power bomb into the announce table. We haven't seen Walter since last year's WrestleMania. When he got his arm broken in the main event, and and now he's showing up here. What the hell is his problem? What's his beef with Coda? Yeah. Oh my god! Match. Osprey taking advantage as Big Head Earl is still trying to come too! No! Is Walter helping Osprey in another hidden blade to the face? Wait, no! No! No, 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 no. please don't tell me it's gonna end this way! Big Head Earl getting ready to count the pin. One, two. Osprey has done it. What a shocking turn of events. My God. I cannot believe what I've just seen here. Walter has made his long awaited return to GCW, and it was to help out Will Osprey as they're both wearing the, the same logo on their arms. Do you remember Osprey saying he was going to make sure that he doesn't get screwed out of yet another match? And I think he did that. You might be right about that. Osprey made a promise to Ibushi and to everyone watching that he was going to walk out of WrestleMania as the champion. And thanks to Walter, he does just that. One can only wonder what could be next for Will Ospreay, the GCW title, Walter, and GCW as a whole. Yeah, I feel like we have a lot of uh, questions to answer on the GCW Life After Mania coming up. But man, insane turn of events here tonight. We have now reached a new era. The era of the Commonwealth Kingdom. You guys gotta check out WrestleListic. You can get custom stages printouts. You can get a custom arena printout. You can get custom backstage printouts. Pretty much whatever you need for your fed, you can get at WrestleListic.com. And you can also message him for personalized stuff for your personal fed. Like I'm doing right now, we're working on some cool stuff that will be revealed in upcoming videos. So definitely make sure to check out WrestleListic.com. What a night it's been, and it's about to be capped off. And oh, look at this! Up in the skybox, the man who gifted me this trippy ass suit is being uh, counseled by MJF and Austin Theory. I wonder what that's about. But now there's no wondering what this is about. This is the main event to end them all. Kenny Omega's career is on the line in one of the deadliest matches to ever be conceived by man. Kenny Omega has been obsessed with the fact that he has never pinned Brock Lesnar in a GCW arena. And now it might cost him his very livelihood tonight. Yeah, you have seen the attack from Lesnar already after Omega's actions at the Raw Rumble. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. 
on the beast. And with that sound, Armageddon has arrived. And it might very well be Armageddon for the legacy of the cleaner here in GCW. A storied career that has started years and years ago. And the only word to describe that career is Godhood. Kenny Omega is the arguable face of GCW. And now, he's at his lowest point. But you know what they say once you hit rock bottom. There's only one way to go, and that's up. But how high can you go when the beast is looming above? Sadistic structure shortens careers, changes lives, induces nightmares into every individual that's ever found himself unlucky enough to be placed inside of it. Hell in a Cell, the main event starts now, and Kenny Omega coming in, guns blazing against Brock oh. Lesnar. Straight into the F5. Able to escape, and now Kenny. Could he be picking one winged angel already? Oh, oh my god, but Brock Lesnar just kicks him away like a mule. Oh, what a knee to the gut of Kenny Omega. Brock Lesnar's not holding anything back here. He cannot be able to afford to hold back against Kenny Omega. Brock Lesnar knows better than anybody what Kenny Omega is capable of. There's a reason why he was once the longest reigning GCW champion in history. Yeah, but he just keeps getting dropped right on his head here. As Brock Lesnar is just reveling in his own hype here as he tries to start a suplex city champ. Oh. And there's Kenny Omega who answers with his own oh. Dragon Suplex City, Brock. And now Paul Heyman now looking like he's just seen the end of the world. And honestly, this might just be the end of the world here for Brock Lesnar, but Brock is not gonna go down without swinging. As he belly to belly suplexes Kenny Omega back inside the ring, and now Brock is like a sadistic predator when it comes to Kenny, oh my God. Paul Heyman telling Kenny to give up. Oh my God, Kenny using oh. the chain to his advantage as he hits that moonsault off the top of Brock Lesnar's head. He was able to scare the hell out of Paul Heyman in the process. Brock Lesnar sure as hell wasn't expecting this kind of offensive from Kenny Omega, but the cleaner has way too many tricks up this sleeve. Oh, huh? the knee crashes against Caught. the cage, and Brock forces oh my God. the neck of Kenny Omega to crash against the floor with that vicious German. And Kenny just keeps landing on the back of his head and now he just did it again on the floor. And now Lesnar might be picking up the scraps. And now and Brock slowly stalking his prey here as he tries to go for an F5 already. If he hits this, it might just be Dunyan rings. Oh, what a oh. DDT counter by Kenny Omega. That's why he is the god of GCW. It's a very nice counter by Kenny as he now tries to get the beast up. And now, after spiking Brock on his head, looking for a power bump to the outside against that cage. Oh, what a clothesline there from Brock. Didn't quite get Kenny off his feet. But now, off the ropes there. Oh, that clothesline sure as hell rocked Kenny. And now Brock has him oh. up in a power bump position. He's not thinking of just chucking him over against that table, but what a chop there. But Brock Lesnar answers with that stiff knee. Oh, sends Brock flying to the floor. Able to think three steps ahead there as he avoided that German suplex. And now Kenny, what's he thinking of doing here? I don't think he has enough room to hit some kind of outside maneuver here. Topek on Halo attempt here. He's going for it, but wait, oh. Brock Lesnar able to counter. Power bump into the post. Able to use the leverage of the cell to the catch Omega. The strength of Brock Lesnar just could not allow Kenny Omega to land that Topek on Halo. 
Now Brock once again attempting the F5. Oh my god, just got dunked on his head with that crucifix bomb. Feet trigger to the jaw. And now Kenny looking to hit the one-winged angel. Can he get it there? Wait, no! Quartz wrapped oh. instead into the turnbuckle! The back of Brock's neck crashed against that padding. It may be padding, but there's no padding when it comes to velocity and gravity, people. That's science for you, bitch. Oh! Now Kenny is pummeling Brock, but Brock's not gonna let it happen! Oh, wait, watch out! Oh. oh, the elbows! The elbows that ended the reign of Kenny Omega all those years ago! And now Brock finds himself in a cross arm breaker. Kenny Omega is barely to counter, but Brock had an answer as he drives him down. But I think the damage has already been done to Brock's arm there. But the beast does not give a you know what. German suplex again. Wait a minute, sunset flip there by Kenny Omega. And now Kenny, how's Brock poised for the J Driller here? Wait, oh, so oh. To what happened oh, to counter. Rumble, but Kenny Omega did his homework. Oh. Brock Lesnar just barely able to get out at the count of two. Oh! Again, dunks Brock on his head. Kenny Omega is not gonna fall for the same tricks twice, Brock. And now, Jay Thriller connects. My goodness. The aggressive nature of Kenny Omega in this match knows no bounds. But that's what you have to do when you're stuck in hell with the beast. And now Kenny going for a beat trigger. Oh, wait, Brock able to avoid it. And now Brock has a moment to recuperate. Paul Heyman twiddling his thumbs with how nervous he is. And now Kenny's in trouble. Brock going for that fly. Oh, oh my oh. God! Crashes against the cage and on the way down, crashes through the table. That's what you call a double whammy. Paul Heyman pleading with Kenny Omega to take it easy, but Brock Lesnar still not out. Oh my oh. God. Kenny Omega put everything he had in that beat trigger. Oh, he goes for another one. Gets caught in the F5 here. Brock Lesnar, wait. Lance on his feet. Beat trigger to the face. Beat trigger to the face. And now Kenny got to go for the cover. He got to go for the cover. Omega still not the winner of this Hell in a Cell matchup. Paul Heyman looking to God above asking him what Brock Lesnar has to do to end the legacy of Kenny Omega. But now Kenny Omega wondering the same question himself, but vice versa. Now what's he looking at? Oh my God. Hoisting the body of Brock Lesnar up the top of that turnbuckle. And now Paul just absolutely losing his mind here as Kenny's gonna look to hit the Dragon Suplex from the top rope. This is revenge for what happened at WrestleMania. Exactly. Three years ago, oh. Brock able to escape the balls of Kenny Omega crashing against the rope. And now what the hell is Brock thinking of doing? Wheelbarrow position here. And now Brock, Brock is, oh wow. my god, oh my god! Oh. oh no! The back of Kenny Omega's head just splat against the steel panel holding the cell together. That must be the hardest part of this structure. Definitely is, and Kenny, oh my god. And now as you can see, the blood oozing from the back of the head of Kenny Omega is prominent here in this matchup. Brock Lesnar's like a shark, and when a shark smells blood, they go for the kill. And now Brock just reveling, showing everything. Oh, oh wait, what's Kenny Omega doing? Oh my oh god! My god. The wind dragon suplex onto the apron, onto the beast! That was just pure desperation. And just like that, Kenny Omega might have just evened out the playing field. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, suplex for a suplex. Paul Heyman cannot believe what has just happened. And I don't know if Kenny Omega is still conscious. I think he did that out of pure instinct. He had to think of something to do or else this match and his career respectively would be over. Exactly.
And even after taking that, Brock Lesnar is still better off than Kenny. And now what's the beast thinking of? Oh! oh! Blow! When in doubt, punch their balls out. And now Brock Lesnar is no more than a mortal man here in this moment. As Kenny Omega hoists Brock up, is he going to hit a one-winged angel to the outside onto the floor? If that would be insane, the bro. Line, Brock able to escape, and Kenny Omega is running on fumes. He can't even capitalize, but now Brock standing on the middle rope. He has Kenny Omega in his clutches. What's he thinking of doing here? Oh my God, Shane! Oh! The friend with that German suplex off the outside! Just look at the way Kenny landed, my God! Brock Lesnar taking a page out of Kota Ibushi's book. And now Kenny Omega is helpless against the ropes. But now what's this? What the hell is Brock doing? Oh, oh God! Kenny Omega having a taste of his own medicine there. Brock Lesnar hitting his own variation of the beat trigger. And now, could this oh. be a one-winged F5? Oh, lands right on his head. No way. No way. It's over. Kenny Omega's career has just been conquered. I don't know what to say. I I don't know what to say. This match was just as advertised. It was brutal. It was hellish. But at the end of the day, I would have never thought in a million years Kenny Omega would fall the final time to Brock Lesnar as he puts his boot onto Kenny Omega. The Conqueror has conquered God.